What's up guys, uh, Justin here. I'm gonna do a little uh, follow-up video to the Scar Room video that I did. And I'm gonna show you guys how I built this cabinet. So stay tuned. All right guys, so unfortunately, um, I did not take a lot of video um, while we were building the cabinet. So I have some pictures um, that I'm gonna kinda put together and play. It's about a minute and a half or so, so if you wanna skip that, that's fine. Um, and then I'll kind of explain how we put things together, what we did and whatnot. So uh, here's a little montage of some pictures and uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. So let's take a little look inside here. Okay, so these uh, latches are just regular double cabinet latches. Um, and I use the self-closing hinges on here. And then, you know, just push everything closed nice and tight. Um, obviously, everything is sealed. So I got silicone around the edge of the window. Regular, just uh, weather stripping, just outdoor, you know, weather strip for like a freaking uh, screen door or something. As far as the, uh, the inside of the cabinet on the ceiling wise, I used the sealer around the inside edge, all the corners, every spot that could possibly have um, air leak out of it. Um, where you saw the little cleats that I used to hold the, you know, basically hold the thing together. We glued everything too. I just didn't want any nails or screws on the outside showing. So we used the cleats on the inside. They were just little pieces of three quarter uh, scraps that we ripped down. So like I said, we used those to secure everything and then uh, just regular, you know, bathroom silicone around every possible edge that I could think of before we put in the finished wood on the inside. Um, obviously with a humidor, you wanna make sure that your humidity is staying in the cabinet where you want it. So we want it to be sealed up nice and tight. So um, onto the inside wood. So the wood on the inside, the actual wood that we glued in here, top, bottom, sides, um, that is African mahogany. So it's basically like a kind of a sheet, a thin sheet of wood on top of MDF board. I used, I went with that because um, a lot of things that I read said don't use too much, uh, you know, Spanish cedar, which the shelves. Uh, these little things I ordered on Amazon. Uh, I think they were like 15 or 20 bucks a piece. This whole shelving unit, as you can see here, this here, um, we built that part. So I bought Spanish cedar. As you can see, we nailed it in. So this stainless steel, uh, little tiny nails that my father had, um, as you see on the edge here too. These, um, if you do something like this, drill them first. The first one I did, I didn't drill and the wood split. So since it's such a small piece of wood, this is only quarter inch uh, cedar and this is quarter inch, uh, the mahogany is a quarter inch too. 
Uh, I went with, like I said, an MDF backboard because MDF has less of a tendency to absorb moisture. So it's going to hold the humidity and temperature and everything a little bit better. As you can see, kind of see, in the back there, I went with the uh, big, uh, I think they're 600, what does it say? Yeah, 320, 320 gram, uh, trying to look through the camera and not through the camera at the same time. Uh, Bovida or Bovida, whatever the hell you want to call them, the uh, humidity packs, they're just way easier. Basically, there's a metal plate on there that I glued to the back of the cabinet and then that little box just hangs on there. And I also got one little uh, regular size pack, which I had a bunch of these left over from my cabinet humidor, so I just threw those in there. I got one on each shelf. Um, and I try, you know, try to have things spread out as much as possible so everything is nice and even. Obviously, I had the door open for a little bit, but uh, this is reading about 3% low, so it's right at 69, which is pretty much right where I want it. Um, everything closes up nice and tight. And then this cabinet, as you can see, is mounted on top of um, another cabinet. So that base cabinet that you can see behind me um, is actually a cabinet that my grandfather built for my dad when they first bought their house in like 1978. So that cabinet is like 40 years old. Um, I thought it was pretty cool to be able to use that over um, my refinish and everything, obviously, to match the top. Um, everything is all oak on the outside. My dad had some oak left over. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's cabinet. Like I said, too, I'm sorry that we didn't have more video of the inside, but hopefully I explained kind of well how, uh, how things went. And the pictures are pretty, pretty explanatory. Obviously you just make a box, put some doors on it with some glass and make sure everything, the biggest thing is make sure everything is, you know, sealed up nice and tight so no air can escape and you're keeping your humidity constant inside the box. Um, as far as uh, seasoning it, I was going to go with the Bovida, the, they have seasoning packs, but they're made for a small, uh, you know, desktop humidor and I would have had to buy like, I, I can't, I calculated it, it was like 25 or 30 of them and it just didn't seem plausible or cost effective. So I just went with the regular distilled water on a sponge, wiped everything down, uh, left the sponge in there on like the top of water thing so it's not touching the wood. Um, and I did that maybe, I think I did it like four times over the course of like a week and a half, two weeks or so. And it seemed to be holding pretty good. And then I, you know, put the scars in there, put the packs in there, the Bovita packs and uh, let it sit for maybe another week before I touched it again. And it seems to be holding everything fine. Um, so, so far so good. Uh, one other thing I will show you, let me hang on. So because this room is not heated, I put a little uh, heater on the bottom here. So basically that is just like a little aquarium heater just to keep things above freezing. So this room in the winter, it doesn't, we, we only turn the heat on when we're in here because it's just a, a little electric uh, oscillating heater and we want to leave it on all the time just because that would be astronomical to run all the time. So that little aquarium heater, that works quite well. Uh, it keeps it above 40 degrees, which is fine with me. As long, I just didn't want them, anything to freeze inside of there because I was getting down into the mid thirties probably when it was really cold. Um, so that takes a chill out of it, um, works pretty good. And that doesn't take hardly any power because it's made to be on all the time. There's a possibility that I might get uh, a second one just because that one is a little bit small. So it's basically I have it right in the center. Uh, it would be nice to have two of them, but I don't think it's really necessary at this point unless we have a crazy winter next year. So anyways, uh, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, you seem to enjoy the one with the on the cigar room, so I figured I'd do a follow up on the cabinet itself. Uh, if you have any questions that I didn't answer or anything, please just leave me a comment down below. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these DIY kind of things uh, as I get more projects done around the house. So, hope everybody, hope everyone has a lovely day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.